In this video, I'll show you how to install and set up Google Stadia on your NVIDIA Shield TV. This should work for all models of the NVIDIA Shield. But I want to point out that if you're using the later versions of the NVIDIA Shield TV with the AI upscaling feature, this will slightly improve how the game looks, especially if you're streaming a game in 1080p. I thought this was a cool benefit. Google Stadia on the NVIDIA Shield supports Bluetooth controllers like a PlayStation or Xbox controller and also supports its own Stadia controller which I'll show you how to set up at the end of the video. I should also mention now that you will need a Bluetooth mouse to set up Stadia, but just for the initial setup, you won't need it again after setup. So now let's jump right in. First, we're gonna open up Apps and run the Google Play Store. Go up to Search and search for Downloader. It should be the first result. Downloader by AFTV News. Install it. When it is done, open Downloader. You will get prompted to allow Downloader access to files. Press Allow. You should see another pop-up. Hit OK. First thing we'll need to do is install the Downloader Browser plugin. If you go to the Browser section, you'll see it instructs you to enter browser.aftvnews.com into the URL field to download the plugin. This is a pretty long URL to type in, especially if you're using a remote like me. So I created a shortened link that directs to this page. So let's go to home and go to the URL field. Type in bit.ly slash dlbrp. This is the shortened link I created that directs you to browser.aftvnews.com. Hit go. And you should get prompted with a security message. Go to settings and turn on install unknown apps for downloader. Now hit back on your remote to return to the previous page. Press install and press install again. Now hit done and we could delete the installation file since we already installed the plugin. Hit delete and press delete again. Now go back to the URL field and we'll now download the stadia.apk installation file. We're gonna enter another bit.ly link, so you can just remove the end of the URL. Enter bit.ly slash stdapk and hit go. It'll take you to the APK download page. Scroll down to the download stadia.apk box and click on it. Once it's done downloading, press install. Now hit done, and we can now delete the APK file. Now return to the NVIDIA Shield homepage, and if we open up apps, we should see Stadia. Long press it, and we can add it to favorites. At this point, you can also uninstall Downloader. Now before we run Stadia, we will need to connect a Bluetooth mouse or download the NVIDIA Shield TV app on your phone to use your phone as a mouse. But in this video, I'll be using a Bluetooth mouse. And please note, we only need a mouse for the initial setup to log into our account. Once this is completed, we won't need a mouse in the future to run Stadia. To connect a Bluetooth mouse, go to Settings on the top right corner, and go down to Remotes and Accessories. Then go down to Add Bluetooth Accessories, and make sure your Bluetooth mouse is turned on and it's in pairing mode. And it should display on the screen. Select it, and hit Pair. You can also take this time to connect your Bluetooth game controller too if you're using one. If you're using the Google Stadia controller, please watch until the very end of the video and I'll show you how to connect it. You can't connect the Stadia controller here since it connects via Wi-Fi and not Bluetooth. So now I'm going to add my PS4 controller. Hit Add Bluetooth Accessories 
and put the controller in pairing mode, select it, and hit pair. Now we can return to the home page and run Stadia. So this is the page that required us to connect the mouse. You can't press the get started button using the Nvidia Shield remote. I tried. You have to connect the mouse. So with the mouse, hit get started. Now sign into your Google Stadia account and that's it. You can now use Stadia on your Nvidia Shield TV. Whenever you open the app again in the future, it'll take you to this page so you don't need a mouse again. You can navigate through this page with the Nvidia Shield remote or your game controller. You also need to turn on experimental mode. Just run a game and you'll be prompted to turn it on. Now let's test out NBA 2K really quick. Now Golden State's starting five. Curry and Clay the splash. Two pretty high level defensive teams tonight, Doris. Is that due to talent, scheme, or hustle, or, or what do you attribute it to? At the time of this recording, the only way to return to the Stadia main menu from a game is by pressing back on your Nvidia Shield TV remote. You cannot go back to the main menu using your Bluetooth controller. It's a little inconvenient, but it's not too bad. All right, and the last part I'll show you is how to connect a Google Stadia controller. If you didn't know, the Google Stadia controller currently connects using Wi-Fi and not Bluetooth. This means if your Nvidia Shield is connected to the internet by Ethernet, you will not be able to use the Stadia controller since it is not on a Wi-Fi network. So you'll need to turn off the Ethernet setting by going to Settings on the top right corner, Network and Internet, and turn off Ethernet. Then connect to a Wi-Fi. If you're on Wi-Fi, you can skip that part. Now open Stadia and launch a game. You can do this using your TV remote. As soon as the game loads, you should get prompted to sync your Stadia controller. Just match the sequence of buttons on your Stadia controller to connect. And that's it. I really hope this video helped you out. Thanks for watching.